All right, I was told if I put a pan inside of a pan, like this, that it wouldn't burn as bad. So that's what I'm going to try. Not sure if I need the spacer in there for airflow or not. Maybe I'll go ahead and put it in there just so it's a comparable test. So I'm going to do another dry bake. I think I will put it in there just so it's a comparable test. It's kind of a pain to get in and out. It has to be snapped in. Hey, that wasn't so bad this time. That fits pretty good in there. This is 10 centimeters, and this is about 12 and a half centimeters. This is an Imusa pot, a uh, grease pot. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I need to go mix up some baking, and we'll give it a try. Be right back. All right, I've got my mix. I'm going to go ahead and mix it in the bag, just like I did last time. It's a three minute, three minutes pouch to oven. So basically, I think they say you mix it for three minutes and then you bake it for 16 to 21. Uh, and last time I went the 16 opened it up, 21 opened it up, 24 wasn't completely done. So this time I'm trying to do 21 and not open it up and at 16 and lose all that excess heat. Got a half a cup of water mixing in here. I find it worked really well just to mix it right in the bag last time. So I'm going to do that again. Alright, I got a spoon now. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Oh man, the chocolate chip one smells delicious. I hope this works out. I've never had the chocolate chip one before. This smells good. Let's see why they say three minutes to oven because it could take you three minutes to mix this stuff up all the way and get it good and mixed. Especially in this little package. Package to wipe the spoon off. Ooh, it tastes good even uncooked. Man. So, as I mentioned, I'm doing a pot instead of a pot. So, I hope I don't have to grease that or anything. I guess we'll find out when it's all done. The biggest issue I have is um, how do I get that pot out of there when it's done cooking? I haven't figured that one out, but we'll figure it out once it's done cooking. Nothing like waiting until the last second to figure something out. I'm hoping it doesn't go over this pot. Um, that pot holds four cups of water, or I mean, it literally just holds four cups of water on the inside there. So I'm hoping that there's enough uh, space in there for this muffin to expand all the way. Guess we'll find out. A little bit there. So that's pretty easy to do. Yeah, I did drip a little bit on the outside. I kind of want to get that off there. I don't know what will happen if I burn to the edges. I don't know. It's about half full. So I'm guessing that it will probably overflow. Only way to find out, though. Light it up and let it go. Now I need a timer. I don't have, so I'm going to have to mark a timer. Two o'clock on the money. How about that? And you're not going to be able to see that. And at all. Okay, anyways, 2 o'clock. So, start at 2. At 2.21, we'll open her back up and see what we have. While we're waiting for the first eight minutes to go by, I want to show you something. Uh, and this is uh, my monster stove that can actually hook onto the top of this part of the stove. Uh, the lid is actually what's screwed on, or glued onto the top of there with JB Weld. So this is one of my stoves that I used. I used the uh, top paw from uh, from I'll put it down below. I can't remember who I bought that from. I want to say Zelf, but I'm not sure if it was Zelf or not. Anyways, I don't think he sells them anymore anyway, so you won't be able to find them. You can find them in your dog store, though, uh, your pet store. Anyways, I sealed this monster lid up. This was the 32-ounce one. With that 
and a screw-on lid. Uh, when I did my last monster four-part series, so that'd be about a week ago, uh, I wanted to see, and I haven't opened it since, I wanted to see if this has uh, enough fluid in here, or if it'll hold fluid in the backpack and not lose it, let all evaporate. So I'm going to open this up, and I want to see if there's still alcohol. It feels like there is. I probably shouldn't light this, I won't be able to put it out if it does light. So yeah, look at that. Uh, haven't used it in a week. Been sealed up inside the uh, container here. Yeah, there's moisture in here. You can see the moisture inside that. Well, you probably can't, but I can see moisture is inside here. So that is actually a, a good seal for that. You can actually, I can actually tell when I push it in, and it kind of holds it in. It comes out slow, but I think it's the vacuum seal of it. It's holding the moisture in, so that's a good one to. Uh, that's a good lid for that particular part. We'll hold the moisture in in your backpack. Uh, you won't be using the large flame like this. The 32. Uh, ounce lid, which is a uh, which is a let's do millimeters. It is from one edge to the other. It's 75 m millimeters or seven and a half centimeters across. So there's really not going to be very often when you need that big of a stove. But should you use it, you don't want to waste all that fuel that's absorbed in the uh, felt. So that's one way to store these lids uh, when you're done with them is just to put the lid on. Now I was thinking about trying to find a lid for that but I never was able to find one for the top like that because the little grooves in it. Then I got to thinking my smallest one, my 12 ounce can, if I just put that in the top of there and screw it on and find a lid for that one, that would keep it from leaking. So I think that's the route I'm going to go since I don't think I'm going to be able to seal. These lids actually have a groove right here. You know there's four grooves around the edge. And because they have a groove, you just can't get a flat edge on it, and there's no way the liquid would ever stay in. So, but once you screw it onto here, it's nice and tight. Then if you find a lid for the top of it, like that, it would actually hold the alcohol in there, too, then. So that's good. All right, so it still hasn't burned out, and we're at about nine minutes. We're going to let it go on that first burn as long as it can. But I want to show you um, what I store my monster alcohol stove and I store it in a gum can. Uh, I have two of them as you remember I made a second one. Oops, sorry. Also once you there's plenty of room to store lots of extra hose in the top of this once you uh if you have it in here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily come out real good that way because it's just a, it's a tight fit with the I lost my felt. Okay so my felt fell out. Let me grab that. So remember I mentioned there's a top twelve inch well there's the base with the felt out right now. There's the base that we have right there. Okay. And that one is a little quarter inch taller, so there won't be quite as much room above the top of it, but this one has a lot of room. So say you put this on here like this. Let me see if I'm in the picture. You put the 12 inch one on top then, screw that into it. 12 inch, 12 ounce, I keep saying inch, I mean ounce, with the felt in there. And I haven't glued this in yet because I need to make another ring for it. And then you put a cap on this. Well, that would then seal around this edge because it's a nice smooth edge and the flute would all stick. The only thing you have to worry about is getting some kind of little cap for the uh, nipple, which is not that hard to do. You can just cut off a little piece of the silicone and melt it down at the end, or pinch it down at the end, and it won't leak out. So you could potentially keep all that with your alcohol in while you're hiking. And then you just take this. You do have to take the nipple off because it's kind of tight, and I'm using the big nail, and that fits right in there. Look at that. Now there's about a quarter inch left. Well, that's perfect because this one's about a quarter inch taller for me. Uh, and then I mentioned you can do... Uh, Screw your little lid right on the gum cap. There's a lot of room in there for a hose now if you were going to put a hose in there separate. Uh, or even a book of matches or what have you. I mean, this one, this is a, uh, I want to say a three foot hose, maybe even four foot hose. I don't know. I don't use it like that. I just, it's my extra hose that I have laying around, but I want to show you you could fit that in there without any problems. Uh, and then you just seal it down. And that's your two parts to your stove, your ultra small, like I'm using now your 12 ounce top, you've got your 32 ounce top here. Uh, the only one that I don't have a solution for yet is my 24 ounce top. Uh, I need to find a lid that fits on the 24 ounce top as well. So, just showing what I've got so far. Alright, it's been uh, 20 minutes and uh, I have the light up a little brighter so I can see what I'm doing here so you probably won't be able to see the flame but the flame is still going right now. And uh, real quick, I'll show you how. I haven't added any more fuel but I'll just go ahead and turn the light off real quick. Just wanted to see how 
decent the flame's still going with only uh two Phillips uh from the thing there. It's glowing orange, just a hair right around these edges right here. Right there. Right where I poked the toothpick at. I went and grabbed some toothpicks because um that's the best way to know how to check a cake to see if it's done. Is to use a toothpick. What I didn't do is I didn't find any way to get that pot out of there once I got it in there now. Uh, a pair of pliers, obviously, I could reach down in there and grab it, but I'm not going to take a pair of pliers hiking. So I don't really have a good solution on how to get that pot out of there. I'm going to go ahead and open it, though. It has been 21 minutes. Um, it didn't rise very much. Not as much as I thought it was going to rise. I'm going to poke it down. Uh, well, I hadn't thought of that. That's all chocolate. The chocolate's not going to become undoughy. Let me try and poke it somewhere else and see if I don't hit a chocolate chip. Well, there's a couple places where I'm not hitting chocolate chip, and it is definitely not done. So, lid hot, lid hot. We are going to put the lid back on it. Sorry, burn myself with a goofy lid. We are going to add a little more fuel, and we are going to give it another... Oh, I don't know. Six minutes. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it. The time now is 2.29. That'll put us at almost the full 30 minutes. Oh, it's getting better looking. It rose up a little better. Uh, I got a little bit of chocolate on there. But other than that, no cake mix. So I think we're good to go. Gonna go ahead and blow it out. It was starting to come down off the flame again. Last night I didn't add near as much flame to it. Let me grab this real quick and show you what we have there. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks like a big chocolate chip cookie. Now, remember I said I was gonna find a way to get this out of here? Well, I didn't really. Uh, okay, so that worked. That wasn't so bad. There. Take that and get it out of the way. Take that and get it out of the way. That's been running for 29 minutes. I don't know how hard it'll be. So this is one of the pots I've built. Now the question is, how hard is it going to be get this out of here? It didn't burn to the edge, but it does appear to be sticking to the edge. So I may need to get something thinner than this, because this is just going to cut it all up. I don't think it's going to come out very easy. And if I had to use this pot again, I'd have some scrubbing to do. Granted, the other pot's still clean. used for dry baking to make it hot. It really doesn't do anything to the inside of the pot. doesn't look any different. So I don't have a plate down here, so I'm taking it upstairs, put it on a plate, and we'll see how it looks. Get back. Alright, well, I turned it upside down, and it fell right out. Not only did it fall out, the top fell right off of it. So, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be inside the can. Obviously, it needs to be cleaned still. But the center is still doughy after 29 minutes. So this pan needs a lot longer. Oh! Chocolate chips very hot. Most of it's done except for that very center part again. Still not done right in there. Other than that, it's all done. So we're going to enjoy it uh, and see how it looks. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, after letting it soak for a few minutes because I couldn't get it out of there, it's starting to come out. But that really baked onto the edge pretty hard. So I'm going to have to scrub that with a scratch pad. Not really viable uh, out on the trail. But while well, I let it soak a little more, got my glass of milk and my cookie muffin. I'm going to enjoy that. And then I'll clean up the dishes. Alright, bye for now.